good evening children how are you all i hope everyone are doing fine let us begin with the new chapter that is chapter number 5 acids bases and salts so in today's session we will be learning the basic introduction to the chapter and also about acids and bases so let's begin coming to introduction to the chapter so before getting into actual topic that is acids and bases so i would like to say that we use few substance or things in our day to day life in a large number for example lemon tamarind common salt sugar vinegar so etc so these kind of substance we use every day we use it every day salt is so necessary sugar salt so all these are necessary components that we use in our day to day life isn't it and coming to the taste of these substance so can you just recall the tastes of these substance and solve this table that is table 5.1 so lemon juice orange juice vinegar curd tamarind sugar common salt amla baking soda grapes and unripe mango and you should note it down the taste for individual substance and this is one of the activity part for you people okay do solve it and you find out that some of these substance taste sour and some taste bitter and also some taste sweet and some will be very salty and these are the different taste the tastes that you people can make out isn't it coming to the topic acids so children you can make out few pictures here i have taken curd picture lemon juice orange juice and also vinegar have you ever tasted these substance if you have taste then you can make out the taste that it tastes sour in nature isn't it these substance taste sour because they contain acids why they are sour in taste because they have acidic content isn't it they consist of acid and the chemical nature of such sub such substance are said to be acidic okay and the word acid comes from the latin word acid and which means sour and the acid in these substance are natural acids so these fruits which have acid in them they are so natural okay so they are natural in taste okay next coming to bases so have you ever tasted baking soda so how how do you feel the taste is so how do you Uh, feel that taste so what kind of taste is that does it taste sour no isn't it so since it doesn't taste sour it means that that is that it doesn't have acid content in them okay it is bitter in taste so how does baking soda taste like it is bitter and if you rub its solution when you just dissolve this uh, baking soda in water and you if you just rub it in your hands you feel soapy nature isn't it generally substance like these which are bitter in taste and feel soapy on touching are said to be bases okay and the nature of such substance is said to be basic okay whatever the topic that i explain now for example acid and bases and i give for few examples to taste isn't it and these substance are edible that we can taste it so what about other substance how can we find out the acid and bases nature so how can we find out okay for that we have some indicators to check whether it is a acid or base there are few solutions there are few substance which can't be tasted and we want to check their nature whether it is acidic or basic then so here are few indicators 
which indicates whether it is acidic or basic okay so there is a special type of substance are used to test whether a substance is acidic or basic and these substances are known as indicators so these indicators are meant to check whether the substance are acidic or basic and the indicator change their color when added to a solution which containing acid or basic so if acid is there basic basic substance is there or basic substance is there and we need to check whether it is acidic or basic so we make it a solution then we take this indicator and check okay if it changes its color then it indicates whether it is base or whether it is acidic and what are the indicators that we use so here are few examples here are few indicators you can just look into the picture it is turmeric litmus paper here you can see blue litmus paper and red litmus paper and next is china rose petals or otherwise it is called as gudal flower it is ibiscus breed okay and few indicators also there and these are the indicators which naturally occur these things are naturally available but litmus paper it is available in the lab okay these indicators are used to check a solution or a substance whether it is acidic or basic for example i have a acidic solution but i don't want to chuck it because it is harmful to me i use litmus paper i use red litmus paper okay if that solution turns blue red litmus paper turns blue means it is basic so we can consider that solution is having basic nature okay that means it is a base what if i use blue litmus paper to chuck the solution if blue litmus paper turns red that means the solution is acid red in, red indicates the danger red is a symbol of danger isn't it so acid is also danger to us some harmful acids isn't it so like that you can remember so i'll explain in detail about this indicators in further topics okay this table shows some interesting facts that you need to know so like name of the acid and where it is found okay so for example acetic acid so acetic acid is one of the type of acid it is found in vinegar next is formic acid it is seen in ants sting so when ant bite we get small blisters on our hand isn't it so how it is formed because ants sting consists of formic acid so that formic acid is reacting with our body okay that is why we see small blisters on our hand next is citric acid you people know it citric citric acid is present in citrus fruits such as oranges lemon amla isn't it next lactic acid that is seen in curd okay so lactic acid is seen in curd next is oxalic acid is seen in spinach you people have seen popeye the sailor man cartoon so he uses spinach to get lots of energy isn't it so what is the acid present in spinach it is oxalic acid next is ascorbic acid so ascorbic acid otherwise called as vitamin c it is seen in amla citrus fruits again next is tartaric acid that is seen in tamarind grapes unripe mangoes andre maavin kai okay unripe mangoes etc all the acids mentioned above occur in nature next name of the bases that is calcium hydroxide seen in lime water okay next ammonium hydroxide that is seen in window cleaner we use this liquid to clean windows okay next is sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide which is seen in soap next is magnesium hydroxide the seen in milk of magnesia so these are all the acid and bases where we can find it
okay so go through the table in your textbook and learn it so children in today's class we started with a new chapter that is acid bases and salts so in this video we have learned about acids bases and examples for acids and bases and also indicators and few indicators we studied and also we studied acid and bases few acid and bases and where it is found okay so i hope everyone had followed today's concept do solve the activity part which i have given in the video itself i'll once again send the activity table as a worksheet do solve it in your textbook or else if you don't have textbook just do it in homework book okay see you all have a good day